Hurricane Gustav battered Mississippi's Gulf Coast with storm surge, overrunning Highway 90 along Gulfport's beachfront. High winds shattered the glass front of this downtown store. Most people and businesses were prepared with plywood and fared well. We were going to go to the hotel once, then they were saying that it was full for Mississippi Power, and they have no more hotels. And the safest place to be with my, me and my family is home, I think. A few people stayed behind and ignored warnings. Others left guards on duty. When dogs weren't defending the home, they were out trying to keep up with their owners who were paddling their way home. Along Mississippi's Gulf Coast, most people are thankful that Gustav didn't cause as much damage as expected. But some people are coming home tonight in Purlington to homes that are underwater. All I know is my truck's underwater. My other truck's about to the door. We've got two boats wrapped around a tree and uh, water in the house. Roads are flooded out in this tiny community near the Louisiana border, and so is Eddie Rushing's life. He is just one of many people who are finding out the bad news. On the south side, there's a lot of houses over in Oak Harbor and Belle Isles that got flooded. On the, uh, on the uh, north side of the highway, like I say, if you was off the ground, I think you was, you're, in, you're in good shape. The folks in Mississippi survived Gustav's blowing winds. Now they're left with high water and power outages to contend with. Mark Carlson, The Associated Press, Purlington, Mississippi.